blast. Oh, it's it's cool. This looks like a train ticket. It looks like a train ticket, but it's not a train ticket. It's the cool local hot women. I'm mistaking it as a train ticket. I put it through a machine in London yesterday. It got jammed. I turned around, massive London crowds, had to call a security man over, and he said, this isn't a train ticket. This is the cool local hot women. I said, yeah. And this is a book I have with a good dog on the front. It even tells you it's a good dog. And inside are actual train tickets. For example, on the 16th of December, there we go. Went ice skating, Tower Hill, with family. <laughs> The day before, on the 15th of December, festive gathering. That, that was a fun day. You knew where the gathering was by the amount of people dressed in Pikachu onesies. It was like following the three wise men to the North Star. And I think it is important to give yourself reminders of days that you enjoyed, however vague or specific the information may be, because when you read the line of sentence on the back of a train ticket, all the information flourishes back into you and you go, yeah, that was a good day. See you on Friday, John. And that leads me nicely onto my next point of why I'm going into London today. I plan these videos out. John Green is doing the Fault in Our Stars tour, so I'm going to go see that. Wow. But before that, I'm going to go see a legalised graffiti art wall. Here we are, the tunnel authorised graffiti area. I think I found my favourite piece. Moist. Just straight to the point. What is it? It's moist. That's it. The art tunnels had a different sort of environment than I expected. Normally when you think of graffiti you think of hooded youths who are going to cause trouble at any moment. But they were a lot older than I thought. And it sort of reminded me of YouTube in a way. There was space for everybody to do their thing. This is me. Looks like me. This is maybe Marcus Butler. That's Neramon. We're all, we're all there. There's a creative plane for everybody. But you just gotta be brave enough to go down into a dark tunnel where there's loads of people who look like they could kill you, but they won't. All right, I'm gonna go see John Green now. My first ever nerd fighter note was in uh, a copy of The Fault in Our Stars, and I handed it to the lady at the checkout, and she said, I'm so sorry, there's a piece of paper in here. I'm, there's words in it, I'm so sorry about this. I don't know what, what's happened that I had. I had to stop her and said, no, do not worry. This is an internet thing. And then she said, that's very nice. Hi. That's Emily. About to see John Green now. Yeah, that's fine. That's who I am. So many nerds. So many nerds. Reading books. Reading books. How are you feeling, Miles? John Green! As the clapping continued, and it's me, my Leo, set off home, he thought about the world, in its own way, also clapping. Give a poor man a clap, and he will clap for days. Teach a poor man to clap, and he will literally not stop. He'll keep clapping forever, and he'll probably break his hands. <clears throat> and isn't that a lot like our own world? Oh, that's good.